Welcome back to the garden. Today we're planting potatoes, and that's what's going on at Noah's house. Hey guys, welcome back to the garden today. We're gonna plant some potatoes. What variety of potatoes are these? I have no idea. We bought these uh, 75 pound bag of potatoes from the farmer's market and we used most of them. But then a whole bunch of them we didn't use. Had them sitting down in the in the shop, down in the garage. It was cool and dark. I noticed they started sprouting about a month, two months ago. So I kept them, rotated them around, kept them cool. Look at that. I don't know if you guys were focusing in there. I got a whole box. I got probably 30. They were a good variety. They tasted good. They mashed up good. They fried up good. So I'm going to put them in these two grow bags in two different ways. This one I have dug out about Eh, a little past half. I'm gonna plant that, let them come up, and I'm gonna backfill. The other one, I just kind of roughed it up a little. I'm gonna smooth it out. I'm gonna get a post hole digger, and I'm gonna dig way down, and I'm gonna put the potatoes down there, completely cover them, and see what one, they, they grow the same, better, worse, what yields we have. So, we'll see that, and we'll see these. I'll bring it back when I get some potatoes kind of sitting around. Give me a minute. Okay, I got a little trench. I'm gonna show you what's going on. I am gonna put some in the middle, but can't really figure out how to get that out of the way either. But I'll show you what I have so far. Okay, so I have eight potatoes around the trench. I'm gonna get in there. Look at the already sprouting, got eyes. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna come in here. I'm gonna cover them up like that. I am gonna put potatoes, like I said, in the middle, maybe two or three in the middle. But for now, I couldn't get that out. I needed to push all that up to make the trench. Here's the other bag, like I said. I'm gonna get that all leveled off. I took a bunch of dirt out, it's right, whoop, can't see. It's way over that way. I'm gonna use that to backfill this bag as they grow up, hill them up, so to speak. So let me get these covered up, and get a couple in the middle. Okay, well, there wasn't as much growing medium in there as I thought when I did that trench, because I didn't want to dig it all the way down to the bottom of the bag. I wanted some soil underneath there. So that wheelbarrow I showed you I was gonna use for Hilling up for backfilling, well, it went in now. I do have the other bag leveled off, kind of tamped down a little bit, and got the potatoes staged. So I'll show you this. So here, like I said, ended up filling it in with that wheelbarrow full of medium, which came out of here to, the, to start with. So everybody's all filled in. And we're starting where I'm gonna have to hill it up. I'll have to get more growing medium to put in there as the plants come up. Now here, that kind of stage, how many, how many potatoes? Look at this one shoot coming off of that potato. That's awesome. But I just wanted to show you, I have them staged and now I have my post hole diggers. So I'm gonna dig all the way down, nearly to the bottom. Boop, drop the potato, fill it in. Drop the potato, fill it in. And I wanna see if these grow and produce any better than this that I'm gonna be hilling up. They're gonna be planted around the same depth. They planted two different ways. And also, this is how many I have left. So I've got two, four, six, 10, 12. I got this little bed. I used to have some squash and stuff in there. I grew some flowers in there last year that didn't actually grow that well. So I do believe I'm gonna use the post hole digger. So I'm gonna dig some holes and I'm gonna do an in-bed potato thing. Because we really like potatoes and they're fun to grow and I never have much luck. So I'm gonna put the rest of them over there. Actually, probably four or five. I'll still have some extras to um you know plant somewhere else and over here just real quick i think i think i think i think that's actually a potato i'm not sure i'm probably i'm gonna let that go and see what comes up i don't know how that would be a potato um no potatoes were ever grown in these beds but i don't know what that is i just saw it a little bit ago i'm gonna let it go and see what comes up but i'm thinking right here some more potatoes i'll bring it back real quick just give you a little wrap up and this is just a uh, potato planting day like i said end of march zone 6b it's time to get the garden going okay guys i had to revamp a little bit which i seem to always do i was going to put eight and then four in the middle but digging the holes the way i did i just i think it's better this there's going to be a total of eight there's going to be seven on the rim and one in the middle so i'll spin you around check that out so this is what I did 
them in there. Potatoes. So I dug them down pretty deep and these should not have to be hilled anything. And like I said, I got seven around the outside, one in the middle. I think it's gonna be cool. These are gonna come up neat hilled, possibly. And I have, there's Lou, that many left over. So like I said, I think I'm gonna plop a couple over there and I don't know, have to come up with a, no. <laughs> I'll have to come up with uh, something where to put them. But these are the bags. This is the experiment. See who grows best, who grows better. I didn't buy seed potatoes because, like I said, I bought these locally. They were locally grown. We ate most of them. These were left. Started sprouting, and I thought, these are going to be great seed potatoes. Let me spin you around. And I know they grow in my area because they grew them in my area. And they're not from out of state. They're not from Florida, California, Idaho. They are from western Pennsylvania. So I know they grow because they grew them here, and I bought them here. But hey, from the garden, I'm Noah. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.